up guys, welcome back to Auto Hedge. Thanks for checking out today's video. Very excited about this install. We got another LAS fit. Today we're gonna do their brand new pod lights. I'm gonna be putting these on my F-150. First, we're gonna go inside and I'll show you guys how to put the hardware together, how to get this all mounted up. And then we're gonna come back outside, mount it on the truck, wire it up, and then we're gonna get some night shots to see what this looks like. All right, so let's check out these LAS Fit pod lights. We'll do a quick unboxing here. I always appreciate LAS Fit's attention to detail with their packaging. Um, really cool designs on their boxes. They got a little picture of the, uh, the pod light, a cool picture of the schematic um, of how it's all put together. Another little profile picture, but their packaging is always really impressive. So, um, Let's, uh, let's open this up. All right, so there's a little picture here, kind of shows what's included in the kit and how to, uh, how to mount it, how to wire it. Um, these have four different options to get. You can get the high beam driving lights, the uh, fog lights, flood lights, and then the spotlight. I went for the fog light um, just because I live in an area where uh, there's a lot of uh, heavy rain and fog and in the winter there's a lot of snow and overcast so I wanted to be able to use something that I could actually drive around on the road with and uh, kind of cut through that that bad weather so I went with the fog light but um, there's, uh, there's all kinds of different options which is really nice. They include some mounting brackets. Depending on what vehicle you have, you may have to get some different um, brackets or some add-on brackets. Um, I did end up getting some brackets. I'll show you which ones I got in a second here. But a uh, really nice uh, material, powder coated. Got some hardware, some Allen keys. Got some wires here. This would be for if you have like a uh, like a Raptor or like uh, you know like a Wrangler that has those built-in. Um, accessory switches and then finally we got the light itself really really cool design um, it feels heavy you know it's it's definitely definitely solid and uh, just really impressed with how these look LAS fit also um, I told them that I kind of wanted more of the uh, the amber style and they were nice enough to send me these amber lights so I'm pretty sure you guys can get these uh, separately if you want to switch out um, if you want to sw switch out you know the kind of lighting you you want you can opt for the for the amber you know, kind of like that yellow style light um, I went for these because I, again like I was saying I want to be able to see through that fog and uh, when you have that yellow or amber light you're gonna getting you're gonna get a little more visibility in that kind of weather so I went with the amber and then you're gonna have the actual wiring harness here. Comes with a cool little switch, on off switch. And then you're gonna have your, you know, basic ground and power, and then your connectors. Now, if you got these pod lights and you have an F-150 like me, you're gonna need a separate kind of a mounting bracket here. Um, shout out to Hot Wheels Dad for giving me this link. Um, this is the, the bracket you're gonna need to clear the hood and uh, get the rock lights mounted the way you want. Um, these seem very nice. Comes with a year warranty. It's uh, by a company called Saman. I'll put a link in the description. But um, this is the bracket you're gonna need to get, to get the right angle and uh, to mount these up properly on your F-150. All right, just wanted to go over how to put this together real quick with the hardware provided. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, just some nuts, bolts, and wash, uh, washers. But uh, at least just wanted to show uh, real quick at least one side how to put this together, just so there was no confusion. Uh, I'm just gonna put the washer in, and then it has that locking washer with the bolt. Um, and then uh, you can see there's another washer on that side. So you're gonna take that washer and uh, put it between the uh, bracket and the light itself, and then just screw it in and you're good to go.
All right, and here's just a quick instruction on how to put the aftermarket bracket. If you have an F-150, this is what you're gonna need. Um, bolt just goes from uh, top to bottom, and then you're gonna use your bracket. Um, just push that in, and then you're gonna have your washer and your uh, locker, and then your uh, nut at the end there. Um, just make sure I'm just putting this together ahead of time uh, just to show you guys how to do it But don't put this together before actually installing it The first thing you're gonna need to install is just that bracket or else uh, the install will be extremely difficult and uh, Yeah, so we'll go outside and we'll start putting this together All right, so the first step is you got to peel this piece back this little weather stripping back and when you peel this back it's gonna reveal these two little tabs here. These two tabs come out pretty easy and this is gonna give you access to this bolt right here. You can see the tabs, boom, boom. And then you get your 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt. bolt. We're gonna uh, get rid of this and then put on our bracket. All right, so the bracket goes in in line with the windshield. See, it kind of has that edge that's how you're gonna to wanna to, uh, put it in. So just drop that bolt back in. Line it up. And try to give yourself um, some space between this bracket and the paint, just so you know while you're driving it's not hitting this. So try to push that bracket as far away as possible. You do have some wiggle room here. All right, now we're just gonna tighten this down. Then after you're done, you're just gonna push this weather stripping back into place. All right, now we're gonna bolt up the light. Got the screw coming from the uh, top to the bottom. Washer, bolt. What I would recommend doing is bringing it up a little bit. See how I kind of have the bolt lifted up? That's gonna give me enough space to actually turn everything in. Otherwise, it's really difficult. You don't have the room. See how it's just kind of floating there now? And then I can drop it down. Um, I kind of already pre, uh, tried to do a little pre-install and that was the hardest part. Just trying to figure this out. So um, yeah, that's the best. Uh, that's the best way to do it in my opinion. And then once you get it finger tight, you can lock it down with a wrench. All right, same exact process on this side. We're just gonna remove this antenna, um, pop these little clips out over here, and then take this 10 millimeter out and put this one in. All right, so we have our lights mounted. Um, now we gotta do our wiring. So first we gotta pop the hood. All right, so to get this wiring to be um, nice and neat, we're gonna pop off these little tabs. There's one, two, three, four, I think six different tabs here. Um, I always use this pry tool for everything. Just get under here, give it a little pop. Pop here and right here so this is going to give us access this is where we're going to hide our cables so it's nice and neat this is going to be our wiring harness right here it comes with our little on off switch little relay here and our two plugs. I mean, it couldn't get easier than that. It's just plug and play. Um, it's just a matter of how clean you want it to be underneath your hood. So first we're gonna plug these in and see how uh, tucked away we can get these. All right, just to get things started, we're going to uh, take off these nuts and very, very simple, negative to negative, 
positive to positive. And then after we get these connected, we'll make sure that the lights work and then we'll run our wires. Kind of nice too this comes with an inline fuse just for safety it's good to see that they did that and then um this i'm just going to kind of tuck under here there's kind of a nice little spot for it i might bolt it down later but right now i'm just going to keep it nice and neat right here all right so this this side's going to be really easy because it's really close to the battery so what i think i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring this cable up here plug it in and then kind of just zip tie uh, the remaining wire right here. This spot right here is perfect because it's just a little flappy piece. So take that wire, put it right down there, and it couldn't get a better setup than that. That's perfect. That's what we want. Now I'm just going to kind of tidy up these wires, zip tie them, and then just kind of lay them, lay them on here or kind of, uh, you know, find a nice spot to where these aren't going to get in there, get in uh, your way. All right, so I'm gonna take advantage of this really nice little opening right here and take my wire. This is gonna be for the, uh, for the driver's side. Push it through here. clean setup it was like it was made for it look at that, that little tab right there and then we can plug in this last one all right so on this side it's a little more difficult because we're working with this windshield wiper so you want to take this wire come back over here and you can see give yourself some room start by sticking it under here so you can get that big plug in a little easier and then you can drop it down right to this little beautiful spot that we found and then you can plug it in good to go all right we're going to do the same thing to our switch we're gonna run this underneath this little valance here, this little shroud, and it will pop back out. So I tucked the switch wire up underneath here with all the other wires that I, uh, that I snaked coming through this same spot right here and I actually unplugged the switch so I could get a little more um, control on where I put it. If you look under here, it's gonna be kind of hard to see here. You can see right there, there is a little firewall and that is what we're going to run the switch through. So let's go inside the truck and I'll show you how I do it. 
All right, so here's my switch. First little tip I would give you guys to give you some more room to work with is to bring up your telescoping wheel. And I just ran this wire down through here. You can mount this wherever you want. I'm not gonna mount it yet because I kind of like to play with these and see you know, what's the most comfortable while I'm driving. So I'll mount this later. I'm thinking probably right here, kind of a clean little setup right here. But I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna push it. So I'm gonna take this and push it through this firewall right here. All right, so I push through the firewall and all I have to do is just plug this into my switch and I should be good to go. Good. All right, so now it's just a matter of putting all these pins back in, buttoning all this weatherproofing up. Check them out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, these look awesome. All right, now I gotta see, I think these are gonna look uh, pretty incredible because I have the fog lights that are also LES fit and they're also gonna be the switchback. So let's see what they look like with the fog lights on also. Damn, that looks sick. Yeah, the LAS fit fog lights match the pod lights color-wise perfectly. And uh, man, it looks mean. Super, super happy with it. Super easy um, install. Shout out to LAS fit. I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like at night. Stay tuned. So right now I just have my headlights on and my LAS fit switchback fog lights on. I want to show you guys the difference when I turn on these pod lights. So we got decent coverage. You can see the amber where the amber stops. And that's the LAS fit pod light. And uh, it's perfect. It kind of fills in the gap where the, uh, where the LAS fit um, fog lights ends. This kind of picks up, it's, just, it's more intense, and it, uh, it just pushes out a little more. Obviously, you can adjust all these, but I just wanted to have a little more of that amber-yellow light uh, forward. So this is just perfect. So you can see it. Totally just gives like an extra 50 to 100 feet of illumination. That's it by itself. on this is no lights except the pod light and the amber switchbacks just the switchbacks pod lights and then that's going to be full lights that's the anzos that's the switchbacks and the pod lights and I gotta say, the truck looks so mean um, with all this lighting up front. It really looks cool. All right, so this is driving with just the pod lights to so get a sense for the brightness. Here's another great shot of the LAS Fit switchback fog lights with the pod lights. Tons and tons of that amber yellow light with these two on at the same time. Can't say enough about these pod lights. Um, really, really impressed with how they look. If you guys are interested in picking these up, use the code uh, AUTOHEADS at checkout. LAS Fit will give you 10% off your entire order. 
Um, thanks for checking out the channel. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.